what's going on guys? Welcome to the channel, Neighbor Dominator, and today we're over at Kyle's house. What's Lake up, House Clint? Lawn. What's Welcome up, the neighborhood? Man? So Kyle has this striper that he created. I think costs like 15 bucks. And you know, he's allowed me to show it on my channel because I want you guys to see how easy it is and how to get that good look on the lawn. So Kyle's gonna go over here on what it's about and how it works and We'll go from there. So Kyle, can you tell us a little bit about it? Clint, first of all, I appreciate you coming here today. It's a long drive. I know it's not an easy uh, drive to get here, so I appreciate that. Got my lawn striper right here. So I created this when I was a little kid because I went to a White Sox game. I saw those awesome stripes they have in a Major League Baseball field. I'm like, how can I get that? And I realized they were rolling the grass over. And I used to make these out of all kinds of different stuff, but this is my final version. This is the best one that I've come up with. It's just plain PVC with some end caps, some eye bolts, and on my mower over here, there's two little plastic parts just above the rear flap. And I found I could, if I just drill through there, I can put these carabiners on, and it makes it easy to put this thing on. Just open that carabiner, clip it on this side, clip it on the other, and you're good to go. So if you're ever mowing and you don't maybe want to stripe, it's easy to take off. So with this thing, all you have to do is mow like normal. People ask me a lot, like, do I have to alternate, like mow one stripe and then take it off? But all you do is mow like normal. This is a little bit different than most striping systems because it doesn't roll. It just drags across the ground, which I feel like makes better stripes and it doesn't do any damage to the grass. So Clint, I'm gonna let you give this thing a spin today. Take it for a whirl, see what you think. Have some fun with it. All right, so as you can see, this is the uncut, and then this is the cut with the striper. And I just want to say thanks to Kyle, Lake House Lawn. Go check out his channel. I'll leave the link in the description below. And let's go to my house and build this thing. Thanks again, man. Hey, Clint, pleasure's all mine, my friend. All right, awesome. Let's go build this thing. All right, guys, we're back here in Michigan, and got my sweet Detroit shirt. But what uh, we're going to be doing today here is putting this thing together. Uh, we got our three inch PVC pipe, which I went to Ace. They cut it for me there. Uh, I got these three eighths eye bolts. They're four inches long. Got these two carabiner clips, four or two lock nuts, four washers, and then these knockout caps. These are huge. You have to use those because a bug on me. So this was like an old striper that I was gonna do. When you get these right here on something this big, they like stick out really far. So it would have been hitting the, the tires. So, but uh, also, as you can see, this is a 21 inch mower, but this piece is only 18 inches because if you do 21, you're gonna be hitting the tires. So, but yeah, the knockout caps are huge. And then um, Sharpie and glue. So I already kind of, Pre-mark this. So what I did was I felt underneath here and get my finger back here. And this is where we're gonna take our beaner clips and then hook them up in here. So I made two markings in the center right here. And then now to line it up, I have two markings right here. I centered that and I lined up my markings right here. So now I will be drilling into the mower right here for the beaner clips and then I'm going to drill right into my PVC pipe which is going to hold all of our weight for the striping. I'm going to drill the two holes in there. Boom. So now that we have that done, our clip, our, care, our carabiner, beaner clips, now go right in there. washer and then we're going inside and then actually I got extra washers I think Kyle only did 
two washers. I'm gonna do another one on the inside. And then now we will be taking the lock nut, the lock nut and putting it inside here. With these, the lock nut, you can't really just screw it on, you know, like a normal nut. So I got this to hold on to the nut. And then use a little screwdriver to do this. Now we're now we're cruising. And boom, like so. So now that if you can see that, it's all nice and snug. You're gonna super glue this end onto here, let it sit, okay? And then I'm gonna give it time to dry. And then I'm gonna fill this up. I was gonna do sand, but I think I'm gonna do what Kyle did is pea gravel, because I feel that maybe it's heavier, you know? So, because uh, that's what bends the grass and stripes it. So I'm gonna finish this up, and then we're gonna go do a demonstration in the lawn. Let's try this thing out. Here's the finished product. It's really heavy. Bag on. All right, let's do a couple passes. Those are single passes, and then I did some doubles over here. Look at that. Looks pretty good for a DIY striver. This thing only costs like 15 bucks. And I mean, take a look at this thing. So, you know, this thing just clips right on. And now we're good to go. The only thing is you cannot back up with this thing. It'll run it over. But all right, guys, hopefully this helped you out. Make sure you check out Kyle's channel, subscribe to him. Leave a like on this video if you like it. I'll leave uh, a I'll leave his video up in the corner somewhere here. And uh, this is the best DIY striper I've ever seen, and I wanted to share it with you guys uh, for my viewers. You know, because Kyle already has done it, but maybe some of you haven't seen it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.